Per il gruppo dei Verdi la parola. On behalf of the Greens, Ms. Scott Keller. Thank you. Past Sunday will be remembered as a sad day, and I think not just in Spain, but all over Europe. We saw peaceful citizens confronted with a huge police force, ready to use all the force they had. Families, pensioners, really people of all backgrounds who were confronted with a state that was willing to use almost all means to stop the referendum from taking place. The world was watching while this was happening, while the riot police met people with brutality, charging with batons and even firing rubber ballots. Polling stations and hotels, schools and city halls and streets were turned into front lines between national police and its own citizens. And what happened in Spain is unacceptable. I think it will unfortunately also set the image that we all have of the situation for the future. And this was massive police violence against peaceful people, and that was beyond any proportionality. And violence so disproportionate cannot be justified. No buts and no excuses. Whatever you think about the referendum, whatever you think of independence, I think that has to be clear, um, that violence is not a mean for solving political conflicts. And whatever I think also the views about referendum and everything, it's also clear that the strategy of Prime Minister Rajoy has clearly failed. He has refused a dialogue that was even offered and he has used and reverted more to judicial means, to police means, but the judges cannot solve a political problem. Police cannot solve a political problem. Criminal prosecution cannot work that way. It is inappropriate. What we need is a political situation, but, on, but rather than doing that, Rajoy has worsened the problem. He has escalated the situation. The massive mobilization we saw yesterday, it's not just independentists who are appalled by what happened last Sunday. So I really think that Rajoy has not really been helpful in this situation. In the future, I believe the Spanish government must refrain from using police violence against peaceful people. It must aim to find a political solution because the Catalan crisis is a political crisis, a political problem, and therefore it needs to be solved politically and not by police force. And the political solution always must mean that people talk to each other, that all sides talk to each other. And I believe the European Union here has a role to play in that because the whole affair is not just an internal matter for Spain. Spain and Catalonia are inside the European Union. President Juncker cannot sit on the fence and just watch from Berlaymont what's happening and how the conflict escalates. The Catalan crisis is a European affair. It goes to the heart of the European Union and its fundamental values because the European Union is built on the conscious decision to live together on this continent, settling our differences, however great they might be, through dialogue, through negotiation and through comprom compromise rather than through violence. And it's wrong, I believe, that the Commission shies away it's the duty as the guardian of the, of the treaty to get involved and help solving this problem, to offer mediation, to offer its help. I think this is something I would really expect of the European Union. The citizens all over Europe are looking at us, are looking at what we're doing in the European Union. I think it's important that we offer our help, that we promote dialogue, that we tell both sides to stop escalations. The Commission can be an honest broker here. And colleagues and Commissioner, I think it's very important that all of us understand how grave the situation has, is how easily it can and how quickly it can escalate even further. No one knows what tomorrow will bring. And I think if we have any chance at all to do something, to do our small bits, then we should do it. And I believe, Mr. Timmermans, that you have a chance to do something. And I hope that we will use it all together. The Spanish and the Catalan government, of course, also have their responsibility. They have to agree to negotiate, to sit together, to accept mediation and to prevent further escalation. The whole crisis is a breakdown of the rules and the democratic consensus that so far ensured a peaceful and non-violent relationship between Spain and Catalonia. The right to self-determination is firmly anchored in international law. And both sides, both the Spanish government as well as the Catalan, government, they have to take the responsibility to find a common solution for how to put it into place in a peaceful and in a democratic way. 
Further police violence and intimidation wouldn't solve the problem. Many actors have called for dialogue, also all over the Catalonia, like the mayor of Barcelona, Ada Calau. Many people have called for dialogue. The colleagues here have said that this is their way forward. I think this is something we all have to agree on. The European Union is built on dialogue. We have to solve political problems by political means, and dialogue is the only way forward. Thank you.